India is a land of natural beauty and the islands form a significant part of it. These islands are covered by thick vegetation and encompassed by the vast blue sea. Now, the view of these islands out of the window of an airplane is mesmerizing and incredible. Here, there is a tremendous scope for enjoying the natural beauty while living in the beach resorts. Also, some of the adventurous water sports like parasailing, skiing, scuba diving, etc. are practiced here. Thus, overall, these islands are the paradise for most of the tourists. Well, the two major group of islands that belong to the Indian subcontinent are one lying in the east amidst the Bay of Bengal and one lying to the west in the Arabian Sea. Well, the group of islands lying to the east of mainland India is the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This group of islands lies amidst the Bay of Bengal as we can see in this map. Now, another group of islands that lie to the west of mainland India amidst the Arabian Sea is Lakshmadeep. Now, according to the political divisions of India, we know that Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshmadeep are important union territories of India. Now, we know that union territories refer to a geographical or a political unit that is administered by the central government and does not have any state government. So, Lakshwadeep and Andaman and Nicobar Islands are important union territories of India. Now, geographically, these islands are an archipelago. Now, what is meant by an archipelago? Well, an archipelago refers to a group of islands. Now, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshwadeep consist of several small islands and thus, therefore, they are an archipelago. Well, in today's lesson, we shall discuss in details about the two groups of islands that is Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Lakshwadeep Islands. Now, talking about Lakshwadeep Islands, we know that it is situated in the Arabian Sea and it lies to the west of mainland India. Now, Lakshwadeep is the smallest union territory of India with an area of approximately 32 square kilometers. Well, this island is so small that you can cover this entire island in just half a day or within 6 to 8 hours just by walking. Now, as we know, the capital of Lakshwadeep is Kavarati, which is one of the prominent islands of Lakshwadeep. Now, Lakshwadeep in Sanskrit means 1 lakh islands. Well, this region is called so because Lakshwadeep consists of 36 islands and these islands are of coral origin. Thus, we can say that Lakshwadeep is an archipelago or a group of 36 coral islands. Now, out of these 36 islands, only 9 of them are inhabited and they include the capital Kavarati, Androt, Amini, Agati, Kalpeni, Kadmat, Kiltan, Chetlat and Minikoi. Now, among all the habitable islands, Androt is the largest one. And it has an area of 4.9 square kilometers. This island is so small that approximately a man can take a complete tour of this island in just 1.5 hours. So you realize how small this island is although it is the largest one among all the habitable islands in Lakshwadeep.
This island is famous for thick vegetation of coconut trees. So till now we discussed in details about Lakshwadip. Lakshwadip is a group of islands lying to the west of mainland India and it consists of 36 coral islands. Out of this only few of them are habitable. Also the capital of Lakshwadip is Kavarati. Now we shall discuss about another group of islands lying to the east of mainland India. Well, another group of islands lying to the east of mainland India amidst the Bay of Bengal is the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Well, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is a group of two separate islands, the Andaman Islands and the Nicobar Islands. They are separated by a narrow stretch of water body which is known as the 10 degrees channel. Well, this water body is named after the 10 degrees north latitude that passes through this region and separates Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Thus, Andaman and Nicobar Islands are separated by 10 degrees channel. Now, let us explore more about this group of islands. Well, before proceeding with our lesson, let us see if we can answer this. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are separated by the options given are Tropic of Cancer, Equator, 10 degree channel or by the Bay of Bengal. Which of them do you think is the correct option? Well, we just read that a narrow stretch of water body called the 10 degrees channel separates Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So the correct option is 10 degree channel. Well, as mentioned previously, Andaman and Nicobar Islands is an archipelago and it consists of more than 300 smaller islands. Also, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is an important union territory of India and its capital is Port Blair. Port Blair, which is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, lie on the east coast of South Andaman as we can see in this map. So, Port Blair is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and it is also an important harbour of India as this port supports many shipping activities. The islands of Andaman and Nicobar are volcanic in nature. Yes, although we do not realize it, but volcanoes do occur at the ocean floors. Well, these volcanoes erupting at the ocean flows form thick sheets of lava which often come up to the surface and spread out thereby forming an islands. It is believed that the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the peak of such submerged volcanic mountains. Now owing to its volcanic nature, Andaman and Nicobar Island contains the only active volcano in India and that is the Barren Island. So Barren Island which is the only active volcano in India belongs to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are sparsely populated. They are mostly inhabited by indigenous people or tribal people. These tribal people mostly live in isolation from the modern world and they lead nomadic lifestyle. Some of the important tribes of Andaman and Nicobar Islands are Great Andamanis, Anges, Jarvar, Sentinelis. Now do you know what is the main occupation of these tribal people? Well, agriculture is an important occupation of the people living in Andaman and Nicobar. The principal crops that are grown in these islands include rice, coconut, spices, etc. Also, being situated close to the sea, fishing is the primary occupation of people living in these islands. Well, apart from fishing and agriculture, the local inhabitants also earn by acting as a tourist guide. Yes, these islands as we know are important tourist destinations of India and they are flocked up by tourists round the year. 
The islands are famous not only for the enchanting beauty but also because some important water activities are practiced here which includes jet skiing, scuba diving, etc. These water sports provide an experience which is a mixture of thrill and fun and you will only get to enjoy them in these islands. Thus, we can conclude that agriculture, fishing and tourism are the major sources of livelihood or important occupation of the people living in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. A famous tourist spot of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is the historic cellular jail. This jail stands as a dark reminiscence of the British rule in India. The three-storied building was built by the Britisher in the 20th century to exile the Indian political leaders and freedom fighters to a distant land. Well, another name for cellular jail is Kalapani, where Kala means dark or death and Pani means water. This place is called so because most atrocious punishments were inflicted on the prisoners who lived here until death. Now today this jail is open to the general public as the national memorial and it provides a glimpse of the heroic freedom struggle led by the Indians against the British and this historic jail is situated in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on two important island groups of India that is the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Lakshwadip Islands. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands is situated to the east of mainland India in the Bay of Bengal while the Lakshwadip is situated to the west of mainland India amidst the Arabian Sea. And these two group of islands forms an important part of the Indian subcontinent. Now both Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshwadip are the Union territories of India. And then we also discuss about the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, its port player, whereas the capital of Lakshwadip is Kavarati. Then we also discuss that Lakshwadip Islands is a group of 36 islands which are of coral origin whereas the Andaman and Nicobar Islands consist of 300 smaller islands which are of volcanic origin. Also the only active volcano in India that is the barren islands is present in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. We also discuss that the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are inhabited by the tribal people and we also discuss about the important sources of livelihood of these people. People. So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on the islands of India. The next lesson will provide you a gist or a summary on all the important physiographic features of India starting from the northern mountains till the islands of India. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now